gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As The Beer Swirls, Beer Battle Edition. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm Dan. I'm Mike. Dan, uh, this looks like a fun battle. What are we drinking? Uh, Mike, we are going to have a battle of the pickles, my friend. Oh, we, got, we got some... These are pickles? Pickles. Yeah. I thought it was beer. That's interesting. <laughs> it's, and you open it up, and you got to fish the pickle out. That'd be amazing. I wish it, like, you opened it, right. and, like, pickles blew out, like, those jars of... All right, so snakes. you want to show off the can before we open no, it? No, I want to open uh, it okay. really bad. Uh, so this is from the Distill, or Distill? 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 Dis Distill? 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 Uh, brewery out of Normal, Illinois. And a show uh, or something? Erie, Indiana. Maybe. Here in Indiana. That's... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> so this is their dill pickle sour beer made with Sucker Punch pickle brine. And Sucker Punch is the pickle company out of Bridgeview, Illinois. And so this is uh, 5.2 ABV. What about you? Wrong. 5.5%. Oh, oh, so that goes up with the and spicy. Uh, yeah, that's the spicy version. Mine was canned on 115-2024. I have got 3-26-2024. Okay. So on the side, it, it says it's, it's a Goza Ale with Sucker Punch, Pickle Brine, and Coriander. Yeah. Uh, Goza Ale with Spicy Garlic Pickle Brine. Oh. Ooh, garlic. There we go. All, All right. right. Uh, this beer comes courtesy of a friend and viewer of the channel, Tim. So Tim, thank you for the beverages. Tim's the right guy. Yeah. I like him. So, oh yeah, left beers, yeah. right beers. This. Yeah, appreciate it, Tim. This is, this is gonna be fun. I like pickle beers. Yeah. Uh, delicate spice. Loves pickle beer. What's your favorite pickle beer? Ooh, boy, that one. We had one in uh, Texas one time that was freaking okay. delicious. They poured it in big gob like chalices and salt all over the top. Nice. Uh, I had. At the Rochester Real Beer Expo a couple weekends ago, I uh, stopped by K2 because they are famous uh, for their dill pickle sour. Yep. And they had a play on it, and they had the Bloody Mary dill pickle sour. Jeez. <laughs> which tastes exactly like you think it does. And, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it, no was, it was good and not good at the same time. <laughs> That's the best. It's good. It was good, but not good at the same time. <laughs> no, it's, um, I don't like Bloody Mary. So if you like Bloody yeah. Mary's, I'm sure it was great. Yeah. Sure. Uh, so these are... Wait, why don't you just hold up the left one and I'll hold up the right one? Because we've done this before. No, we haven't. <laughs> okay, so yours is definitely a little hazier than mine. Uh, it's a very watery, yellow, straw color. Um, very little carbonation coming out. Mine, the, the regular pickle one's got a little bit more carbonation. Yeah, this one, this one does not... Yeah, so the hot one definitely, like, it's Tale of Two Cities over here. Like with the, inter yeah, interesting. All right, you wanna get into the regular dill pickle first? Sure. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that's it's dill pickle. It's dill pickle, but with mustard. <sighs> oh, I man, all I want is a freaking Zweigel. All I saw right now is a Zweigel's hot. With mustard and uh, oh, relish. No. Oh, yeah. And that's exactly it. That, that is the aroma of this beer. To a T. There, there's... Jesus. <laughs> it's smelling a fucking hot dog. It is. It, but it's great. Let's dive in. Cheers. Cheers. Holy. Now I'm getting more bologna than anything. <laughs> that is... Wow, it's very syrupy. That is, it's pickle juice. It's pickle juice. Alcoholic pickle juice. That's what you've done. Holy, that is, that is an assault on the sense. <laughs> but that is pickle brine. I can't, I can't taste a base goza in this. I just taste pickle brine. I feel like this thing is... Yeah, you gotta you gotta drink this with something while you're eating something, right? Um, hot dog rumbaloni, some sort of processed ass meats <laughs> like this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Distill oh. pickle beer hey. with your local ass meats. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, do you want uh, the spicy? Yeah, let's let's move on to the spicy one. Oh, okay. So, okay, hold on. That is. Yeah, this smells. This is dumbed down 
It, it's got that dirty <laughs> vegetal thing from the garlic. Yeah, very much so. It, uh, it's more of a, a vegetal floral kind of fruity. Thing to it. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Ready, Diamond? <laughs> Cheers. I was a little more prepared mm -hmm. after drinking the first one. Okay, it's a little more subdued. It, the 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 pickle brine is not as in your face as this one. It is still bombastic. Okay, so this but. one this one is, uh, it's much more savory. Mm. I think it's due to that garlic and stuff. Wow, but it tastes exactly like garlic pickle brine. It, it's to a T. If you've had garlic pickles, you've had this beer. Okay, I get, I don't know if maybe they're settling in on me now. I'm starting to get that base goza in there. Like that that sour beer okay. kind of taste to it. It's starting to, I'm not being as overwhelmed <laughs> by the pickle brine, but holy jeez. I love a good pickle. Mm. We love a good pickle. That's well known. I'm going to point this out. Nothing towards this. Mm-hmm. But it's almost wrong, like to like drink a whole one of these by yourself. I don't know how somebody could do it. I couldn't do it. Like I want, I think I want. I want uh, ass meats, like you said. Yeah, you gotta. We you need gotta have these beers. Some, great. Some sausage, meat. some hot dogs, something. These are grilling beers. Like you should be. We should be outside grilling various meats. And then consuming these meats with this beer. Yeah. Um, I almost wish it was a different style. Like, either a Pilsner or maybe a Blondale. And maybe it wasn't as briny. Like, I like the brine, but I don't want it so in my face. I want it to so be you a want, subtle. So you want a hint of pickle. A beer with a hint of pickle. Rather than a jar of pickle brine that somebody threw beer into. Yeah. Makes sense. That that's what I like. If you Bro, like, what do you prefer? That's a good question. I think I almost I, I think I prefer the spicy pickle one. I think it it it's a little a touch subtler. It's a little fruitier, mm -hmm. a touch more floral. I think you get that garlic, the the herb. Like almost herbaceousness to it. Um, it's very good. They're both very good. I like the spicy one more. I'm getting that garlic more. No, mm -hmm. I just did a back and forth sip. Mm -hmm. That's kind of that breaks it up a little bit. I'm about to just even well, out. Well, we got a cuvee. Cuvee. All right, let's do it. Let's uh, do wait, it. did we rate it? Oh, let's rate them. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna do two ratings. I'm gonna go. I'll do uh, three, two, three, four. I couldn't drink a whole can of either one of them. However, if you like pickle beers and you like pickles in general, and pickle if you're one of those people that drinks the brine out of the jar after you're done eating the pickles, these beers are absolutely for you. Uh, I'd say they're up there four or five, four or six. They're exactly what they're being billed as. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I just want some ass meats. <laughs> Three five, you know, three. You want people to three argue. five? I just want to like toss the swigels in there and just like kind of. <laughs> and these are out of five. By sure, the way. sure. Uh, three five and three. Okay. I prefer this one because I get a sense that I'm eating a hot dog. <laughs> See, I still get that with this, but I get really? more. Yeah. See, because with this, I'm just like, I'm like, okay, I, it's. If I couldn't get my hands on. Pickles, I could pop this whole time. <laughs> Imagine my my time at the ballpark. You're talking about like when we drink an NA beer, like oh, just it scratches that itch for a regular beer, but it's not alcoholic. And oh, this scratches that itch for a hot dog, but I'm not eating a hot dog. It's not the old school ladies, bad boys. <laughs> you know what? I there's a tragedy that goes on in my house. Is every, that right? Every time we have a hot dog, every time I open up the fridge, I look at that long door of condiments and just like not a hot condiment you had no here's the thing oh, okay and i'm like okay i'm getting my mustard mm -hmm. and i always reach 
for the relish. And every time I say, shit, I'm out of relish. <laughs> and every time I'm like, all right, I'm going to get relish from the store. And I always forget the relish. And it's been going on for probably a good six months without relish. Because this never-ending cycle goes. By the way, Wegmans Organic Relish. Mm. Is that right? Oh, it's fantastic. Is it dill or sweet pickle relish? I believe you can buy both. Okay. Which one do you usually get? Dill. Yeah, it's fucking dill. It's delicious. Ready for this? I got some no salt. I got no oh. salt added. Uh, bread and butter pickles from... Uh, Interesting. Uh, Wegmans. It's good for you pickle lovers that... There's still some beer in your mouth. It's not a full cuvee. There we go. Caught me red-handed. All right. I had a red going on Ooh. today. That's okay. It's okay. Still very dill. Uh, there, there's some garlic in there, but I don't know if that's just because it's coating my mouth. Super dill. <laughs> just super dill. Super dill. Super dill. Superhero of the ass meats. Don't anyone steal this. This is awesome. <laughs> The, Ooh. the dill. Dill still took over. I like that. Man, I'll tell you what. I like that better. I think it that it's still... 3.6 in the books. Done. Uh, it's still... It's got that really right off the rip pungent note from this, mm. but I think it added a really nice, the fruity garlic bits from mm. the spicy one. It's a good mix. It, it's weird. Cause I'll, I'll, I'll just say 3.6 too. That's good. I don't know. Like, you feel like this, the salinity and everything mm -hmm. would strip away all saliva, but it doesn't. Oh, no, you're right. It doesn't. Because, like, you got the combination of goza. Like, yeah, yeah. Which... And pickle. Like, yeah, you figure, like, point. oh, I need something. Yeah, I didn't think about that. That's true. Tim, thanks, buddy. Uh, this, this was a treat. I like this. <laughs> Tim, don't do it to me again. <laughs> Alright, uh, down in the description oh. below, all the link trees, hit us up, it's got every social media platform that we're a part of on there, and uh, got our email too, so if you yeah. want to hit us up on the email and send us some pickle beers. <laughs> we'll, uh, you want to see us ruin ourselves again? Go for it. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. Cheers.